Hello, this is Colin Greatwood, Applications Engineer for LMI Technologies, and today I'll be showing you how to perform a stationary bar alignment with one hole for a profile mode scan. What you can see here is a Gokator line profiler looking down at a flat table. I would like to be able to determine the height of a metallic connector off of the top of that table using my Gokator toolset. The top of the table is currently reading negative 5.7 with respect to the Gokator's origin. I would like to adjust that using a transformation determined during a Gokator alignment so that the measured height of the connector can be referenced back to the tabletop at Gokator Z equals zero. Today we'll be making use of a bar that is approximately 3.1 millimeters thick and has one hole of diameter 6.35 millimeters. Here you can see the hole is relatively close to the center of the field of view. For a stationary profile mode bar alignment, the width of this bar does not particularly matter. This type of alignment will correct for three degrees of freedom. Any rotation about the sensor's y-axis, which you can see that we have based on the values read at the far left and far right of the profile, negative 2.6, and negative 2.67. We also have a Z offset we wanted to account for and an X offset. We want the center of this bar, the hole that you see here, to be our new X equals zero value. First I'll optimize the exposure for the top of the bar, making sure that we don't have any dropouts, and then I'll reduce the active area so that I only see the top of the bar. Great, now we can align. After performing the alignment, I'll reset the sensor's active area so that I can scan a larger object. You should be able to notice that the center of the hole defined during the alignment process is now our new x equals zero position. And the top of the table is also our z equals zero value. By sliding the metal connector, underneath the line profiler, you can see that we're now outputting a height of 12.5 millimeters for that connector, which is correct. You can also see that we've corrected for rotation about Y due to the fact that the table values on the left and right hand side of the connector are relatively the same. If you wish to know how much error your alignment procedure accounted for, you can expand the transformations under the sensor tab transformations. You can see that three transformations have been applied to the data set, a Z offset, a rotation about the sensor's Y axis, and an X offset to place the center of the hole on the alignment bar at X equals zero.